Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be fishing the world's smallest buzz bait. Check this sucker out. I mean, holy smokes, let me get this thing focused. Look at that thing. This thing right here weighs 2.2 grams. It is so small. Let me put this right on my finger, just like that. Look at that. I'm gonna hold it right there. Look at that, that's it. The blade is so small like my pinky fingernail. Holy smokes, man. It comes with a single hook right here. You can swap it off if you guys want to, but the single hook is barbless, so it's gonna be really, really cool to catch some trout with it. But right now, it's pretty much uh, end of spring, summerish area uh, in my area. So there is not gonna be any trout around my area where they stocked it, but uh, bluegills and bass, especially with those uh, um, brood eggs and also spotted lanternflies, I think this will be very, very fun to throw. It weighs at 2.2 grams, so it's very light. So we're gonna be fishing BFS with it. So I have my Corrado BFS reel on my Dobin's uh, Sierra Series, the Ultra uh, Finesse Casting Rod, or the BFS Rod, very long name, by the way. It's got the seven foot, uh, four inch, and I rated down to 1 16th ounce. So this is, should be perfect. So uh, let's get in there and uh, throw this. I got the eight pound braid live from Casting, their new Cast Pro Finesse. Uh, 13X, so um, yeah, I'm gonna cut off my leader and go straight braid, and let's go, let's go. All right, back to my favorite pond, close to home pond, cast testing pond, dank pond, whatever you guys want to call it. I do really, really well in this pond, especially for like these quick one hour sessions. So let's see how this goes. I do have uh, the brakes on at two, all right, two for 2.2 grams. All right, so this might not be the best rod to do it, but it's, it works and it buzz. The key of fishing buzz bait is, yeah, get it to buzz. Oh man, interesting, interesting. It sinks very fast, it sinks very fast. I think this is gonna be like a, a buzz, um, I think this could be more of a spinner bait than a buzz bait, but if you keep it on top of water, it's definitely gonna buzz, but look, it's very, very light. All right, very light, very interesting. Give me a fun, fun fishing trip if the fish cooperate. All right, let's do this first cast over there, down the banks. I, I do see like, a, what do you call those? Fallen trees. It's very clear here, the water's super duper clear. And I see a fish chasing me already. Yeah, I see a bass. Yeah, he's so dinky. It's interesting. Let me come up from this angle for a second. Yeah, there's another bass right there. Oh yeah, look, there's two bass. They, they're coming close together, they collided. And now I'm gonna confuse them, see what happens. All right, so <laughs> it's very interesting. Those are super dinky basses. They, they looked at it and um, these ducks are in my way now, crap. All right, let me move past these guys first. I see a turtle, it's gone, but throw that out. But yeah, I think what I want to do is probably use a lighter setup next time. Probably put my Alpha's Air TW and on uh, a lighter rod. Something this small, you kind of have to load it up. At least that's how I feel. Nope. Oh. All right. Very interesting lure. But yeah, I'm pulling it pretty darn fast. So um, middle of the day, storm looks like kind of coming. So hopefully something will bite. If not, oh man, I might have to hit another spot, but Jimbo might not have enough time because <laughs> you know how it is. You park up, you walk up, and then you gotta walk back out and then find another spot. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yo. All right, all right, all right, we'll try again. All right, that was first bite. Keep the rod tip high. You just want to reel it just enough so that it still buzzes on the surface. And this is a fast sinking lure and a fast reel. All right. I like to put buzz baits right near the shorelines, especially with these panfish and also bass is hiding on the side. Let's see if we get another one to bite. If not, I'm going to my hot spot over there, but the wind is going crazy right now. It's blowing towards that end. Uh, hopefully, it's not gonna impact my top water fishing. Okay, so go out just a little further. 
right in the edge, just like that. Oh, got him. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I gotta bring him in good because it's a single hook, barbless. All right, keep, keep it tight on. Here we go. All right, as long as I keep it tight and it doesn't flop, we got him. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at that. All right, world's tiniest buzz bait. Put him back in the water. All right, peace out, dude. So yeah, guys, right on the edges, these pond bass, they love the edges. So I just love throwing the buzz bait on the side. Let me see if it's still buzzing. Yeah, it's still buzzing. After one bite, it's still buzzing. Oh yeah. All right, that's good, that's good. That's what I need to know. Let's do some side cast. It gotta be like a lot more. Now I wanna throw this like in a small stream. Whereas now they have, those have current, right? So we cast it downstream and it'll help keep the lure in place. I can reel a lot slower too in a stream. So I can't wait to do some, I guess, uh, creek fishing for some smallies, for some, some whatever sunfish that's in the creeks I'm fishing. And hopefully I can land a trout too, cause I'm all about trout fishing, but there's no trout in my area, you know? Definitely won't be doing snakehead fishing with this thing. This thing is gonna be destroyed. The only time I use like wire baits is probably like from SS Custom Baits or I make my own, cause uh, those stuff are thick. You know, SS Custom Bait use thick wires, which I like. All right, come on. We are almost at the end of the dink pond where the wind is blowing. Got to be a few fish that wants to bite this. And I see a lot of uh, different type of bugs flying now. So there's like, uh oh, a thunder. Um, yeah, that, that's like a dragonfly-ish type stuff. So, um, uh, what's the other one? I forgot what's the other one called? But yeah, some sort of dragonfly type stuff. So hopefully, with the dragonflies flying, and if there's more gonna be flying, hopefully these top water baits will fire them up. Oh, here's one right there, right behind. Very dinky. All right, there's some dinks right there chasing me. Okay guys, so right over there, right over there, I do see some bass that's blowing up on the wind blown side, and I also see a lot of beds here, so I don't know if they're, you know, bluegills wants this or not. But that'd be pretty darn cool to get old bluegill or something. Here's a dinky bass. Uh, I could drop him very quick, but his, these are uh, barbless. I guess I'll hold him up. Oi, 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 easy, easy. Easy, easy. All right, all right, all right, easy. All right, in he goes. Let me grab, let me try to get some more. Got him, got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a better one. Dude, this might be the biggest, biggest bass I have ever caught in this dink pond. And I am dead serious. Barbless hook, will you win or will I win? I won, oh yeah. Baby, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Easy unhooking with the barbless hooks. All right, off you go. Bait me something bigger. Ooh, I see a few more. Let's go. All right, you guys probably can't see well because of uh, all these trees here. Oh, there's a fish right there. Look at that. Boom. Let me keep hauling in because it could be a few more right there because there's a long bank and that hit pretty much uh, very far away. So let me just get him up and release him and then we'll catch another one hopefully Whew. almost got his eyeball but he hooked him twice all right here we go barbless makes it so easy to release oh got him got a fish on a little buzz bait oh look at that it's a green sunfish very small one that's what i'm talking about guys let me take a quick photo They'll be happy to see this right here. All right, off he goes. 
Oh, 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 in it goes. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Woo. Hey, dinky bass. Whoa, look at this. Beautiful colors. All right, little guy, so beautiful. In he goes. See if there's any fish right over there that may want this. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. These guys are hiding right there, waiting for me to yank them out. All right. Beautiful, look at that. Yep, yep, use your finger, push it out, let them go. Woohoo! Yo guys, that was one fun lure, that micro buzz bait, pretty fun. I wish that I went out a little earlier, I think uh, it works a lot better earlier in the day, but you know, when you fish noon, that's, that's what it is. And uh, here's a quick tip for you guys, two things actually. Well, I was using braided line, so that thing, it's gonna sink quick. So if you guys are interested in this uh, buzz bait, you don't wanna walk, fall too fast. You guys could use like a thicker mono leader just because mono could float. And then you guys can add a trailer, whatever tra tra a plastic trailer you like. If you guys don't like the standard hook it comes with, you want a uh, like a hook that will hold your bait, you know, swap hooks. And uh, it'll be a lot more fun. And then I caught that one little nice fish using that free rig, which I don't wanna portray too much because I will be making a video about free rigging on the new Corrado BFS reel because I want to promote different type of rigs that you guys can actually use using BFS tackle. But anyway, if you guys are interested in this micro buzz bait from Mukai, stick around because there's going to be more content on that. Or you guys can check out Bait Fitness Empire as they'll be carrying those lures. I thank you guys for watching the Fish Stone Way. Get out there, get your BFS gears and catch some summer fish. Time to take a nap.